Today you're getting two options on this deco mesh wreath. Keep watching. All right, you're going to start off with some type of a little leprechaun or a 3D little figurine to put on here. You're going to need some burlap mesh. And then I'm using a variety of, I think that's 10 inch mesh. I'm using two greens and a gold. And then there are some little clovers here that came from Dollar Tree. This came from the thrift store. And then this came from the thrift store as well. I took it apart. It looked like a rainbow. Kind of reminded me of that. So I decided to use that. It is about 12 inches across. Feel free to use any type of a wooden wreath that you like. I'm going to be cutting these in 8 inch strips. There is a tape measure at the bottom of my screen. So that's how I'm getting my measurements. And you're just going to do this about 10 times. This one's kind of shaggy on the end, so I'm gonna fix it. All this mesh came from Goodwill. I was so lucky to find it. Okay, same thing here, same measurements. So we'll have two of the light green two of the dark green and then we'll move on to doing two of the gold just showing you two of them you're going to do about 10 of them and you may need to do more and you might need a little bit less depending on the size of your wreath 10 inch round wreath is probably going to take a little bit less you can do eight inches here or you could do 10 inches whatever you like this is a long roll, and it looks like somebody's leftovers, actually. But I'm going to use this to make the bottom part. And this is four inches that I'm cutting here. Straight up. It's going to roll back on itself, which is fine. You're going to fold it over and cut it in the middle. This is, I think, 24 inches also came from Goodwill. So there's a bundle of those. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with them. I want this wreath to be rustic and shaggy looking, so we're gonna put our rough ends out instead of the smooth ends. So they were rolling that up kind of sloppy, so it looks kind of, kind of rustic and worn. Do a bunch of these. You can use a clip or a clamp to hold those together if you would like. Sometimes they'll just stay rolled up on their own, so it's up to you how you want to do that. All right, so there is our first base bundle. And I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner. You can use floor wire if you'd like. could even use a piece of um, of jute cord if you wanted to and just tie it on there. We're going to continue this process across the bottom and if you were using a round wreath instead then just the bottom half or the bottom maybe third you could do this way. I'm going to start in the corners so I know how many that I want of these. You could just cut as you go along because I can't give you precise measurements if I you know depending on the wreath that you use so I ended up with one two three four five on the bottom five of the burlap little bundles and now we're going to move on to the green and gold I'm just gonna roll those up with the rough ends out now I gotta tell you when you leave the rough ends out like this if you don't have a good quality mesh or you know um, I don't know it just may be all mesh in general it's gonna come apart a little bit it's gonna kind of fray and come apart on the ends which is a good thing and a bad thing a blessing and a curse so you can just trim that up later once you get your wreath together and see what you need to do and um, kind of pull the little loosey-goosies out of there or trim them off whichever way so here's the bundle I wanted the dark one in the middle and the two light ones on the outside do yours however you like you could probably use a solid color here too, but I wanted this to match closely to my little leprechaun. 
So use your pipe cleaners as we did before and start attaching these. I am going with the bundles all in one direction. So if I follow the arch, it starts off with the gold on top and as I come around the arch, the gold section is on the bottom. So I'm just kind of, that's my pattern, but you certainly don't have to do that at all. So here we are all fluffed out and I left this section open so that I can make a big curvy bow. This bow is not going to have any tails. I've just taken 10 inch pieces in two of each color. Let them go around in a circle in the way that the trimmed edges are on the outside this time. So that it's very neat looking. Wrap the center with some wire and then attach it to your frame. You can see some remnants of glue that were on there from the previous crafter. And I love, I love the way this looks. I love the swirl and the curve of it. It just looks really cute to me. Okay, so now we need to fix our little leprechaun man in his pot of gold. We need to fix him to the frame and I'm gonna put him, well, the wreath, I'm gonna put him on the bottom here. I just slid those over because they're not glued down. You can do that. And I'm just gonna firmly attach him to the bottom of this wreath. Trimming off my excess. Now for the first option, you can start adding your clovers if you would like. Put those in there with a little dot of hot glue. See where you want them to go. And I thought he would look cute just kind of nested in the clover. Like he's hiding. Maybe he's happy that he's hidden his pot of gold from everybody. I love how the burlap, that natural burlap, goes with the clover here and with the... Um, the sparkle from the green. It just looks springy to me. So you just want to tuck your little bundles off of that. This is only one pick and I didn't even use the whole thing. And they have little gold sparkles on them. They're really cute. Like I said, cute a thousand times already. Okay, so that's going to be like your first option here for the bottom of it, just surrounding him, having him peeking out of all the clover. If you wanted to do a different type of greenery, you can, certainly. Whatever you have laying around the house, if you're not getting out, you could also use little flowers. That would be pretty, little white flowers, like a clover flower. I'm gonna go back in and cover up these pipe cleaners, which are white. I didn't have any green, so now I've gotta cover those. And I'm just using some pom-poms I had left over for an, from another project, which you will see soon. It's going to be a pom-pom wreath. That'll be coming up, so look for it. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. The gold coins also came from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack. I bought them for my kids so they could play treasure hunt. They like to hide things from each other and then go find them. So that's fun. They're seven and eight. But it only took three, so maybe they won't notice, right? We'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, so the leprechaun has lost a few pieces of his gold coins. And see the mess? This is what I'm talking about. You have to kind of pull some of those out or trim them down, whichever way you want. And if you don't like that rough edge, then just fold your... Um, Fold them in where you have the rough edges on the inside and the finished edges on the outside, like the bow that's there. Whichever way you want to do it. And that will complete the first look. And we'll move on to the next one. What do you think about this? It's pretty cute. Okay, so now I've just gone back and removed the clovers and I have removed the gold coins and I've taken that 3D uh, shamrock and cut that apart with my wire cutters and just placed those down. So I put the big one above right here on the big bow. The smallest center one is there on the outside on the right and then the middle one is right there on the left. I think I like this one better thought I would like the clover better, but I think this one is going to be my favorite. I'm going to leave it just like this and put it on my door. 
Which is your favorite? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Be sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like this. Give me a thumbs up and share it if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.